Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 1st, 2022. Welcome to April Fools, and welcome to a quick update video here as we have another, yet another, X class solar flare, Earth directed. This is a look at 304 angstroms. Our almighty and powerful sun has released a cannibal, colossal X-class solar flare. Two of them in the past 48 hours. Huge plasma rope across the northwestern limb of our sun. Watching right there, huge interaction with the sunspot that is cresting and as well all of the activity amongst the earth facing sunspots CMEs a dozen of them and as well two large X class solar flares earth directed all heading our way now this is so connected to everything on this planet we're already seeing the cosmic charged particles penetrating the world Northern Hemisphere lighting up last night as far south as parts of uh, central Ontario. And we're set to see more tonight. Looking at 171 angstroms here, you can really see the active regions that produced these Earth-directed solar flares. Amazing times we live in and believe that this is all electric and magnetic and all connected to everything. Us, our hearts, our minds, and of course this world as it is shaking right now. As we are penetrated by the galactic wave of a solar flare. Some amazing imagery coming here from Solar Dynamics Observatory. Wanted to share these amazing images because we do not get X flares that often, especially in an Earth directed fashion. We've seen a very active sun the last seven days. More activity in the last seven days than we've seen in a month, almost for sunspots and flare activity. Looking at Lasco 2, showing the shock wave. Full halo CMEs. A lot of activity is already here. And exchanging with our atmosphere and the magnetic field of Earth. And as well, it's electric, magnetic, our minds and our hearts. So much love to everybody out there and thank you for tuning in to Daily Events Worldwide. Keeping you aware and prepared and maybe teaching you something a little bit about space weather and how it affects, as I said, everything. Looking at Lasco 3 here, early images of that large CME taking off from the northwestern limb. Looking at the D region absorption map, we're definitely zapped right over Central America. Big activity coming out of Tonga with a large 7.0 earthquake around the same time that we are being penetrated with the highest density of cosmic charge particles. Amazing times we're living in and I'm so happy that I'm able to see and experience the technologies that have produced us to see and experience. And as well, I'm very appreciative that you are all tuning in, staying aware and prepared, looking at the Aurora forecast for last night and tonight across the Northern Hemisphere, as I said, moving down as far south as central Ontario. Looking at NOAA space prediction spirals, showing this huge bull shock wave heading our way.
two of them. And we're being penetrated now, and we will be for the next 36 hours from both of these solar flares and as well the dozen CMEs that shot out over the past 72 hours. Our sun is very active, and it's going to be a very active and long solar maximum, solar cycle 25. Looking at solar X-ray flux, hopping back up into C range again, and it's been hovering there for a while now showing in those two accented, accented heightened regions for the X-class flares. 50% chance of radio blackouts. We're going through an S1 minor solar radiation storm. So heads up, everybody. Having a look here at the earthquake map, showing what happened around the same time, as I said, as we were being hit, bombarded with our highest concentration of cosmic charged particles. 7.0 earthquake, Tadeen, New Caledonia. Many large aftershocks throughout the region as well, reported here, New Loyalty Region, Loyalty Islands, 6.3 earthquake. Many fives across Indonesia, pretty deep earthquake here, 571 kilometer depth, Fiji region. Lots of fives through the West Pacific, up into Japan. But we're going to see the seismic activity increase and it in numbers and as well size uh, magnitude. So stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Have a look at the time here for the new Tadine or uh, New Caledonia earthquake, 7.0. That occurred about 5.44 a.m. Having a look here at our real-time solar wind, we were hopping up over 575 kilometers per second throughout the day today. But early this morning when we were hit, I just have to hop it over here to the three-day stretch. There we go, and this is where I was talking about. Much love, everybody, and please share this video with your friends and family. I appreciate you watching. Staying aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now.